you guys happy saturday disregard how i look i know i look crazy especially with this mask on and my hair all over my head but i'm getting ready to go get my hair done by one of my daughter's stylists i'm getting me a quick weave bulb i have not gotten a weave quick weave any type of weave in forever so i'm getting ready to do that now um i had to actually come to staples and get some masks because masks are a thing again and yeah so i'll check in when i get there Yo, my hair is so freaking cute. I absolutely love it. So it's a quick weave with minimal leaf out. Um, so I bought the what is it called? The Empire Pack Hair from the Beauty Supply Store, the hair store. So I got a 10 inch and a 12 inch. It was only $60. And then she charged 130 to do the install. Not that bad, you know what I'm saying? She's a young black girl, so I like to give money to, you know, us and then the youngins who are doing their thing. But she's located in Simple Hills, not that far from the city, so it all works out. So like I said, my daughter comes to her all the time and her hair always look good, so I'd be like, yeah, let me see what's going on. So yeah, so, ugh, then I got lip gloss, Lord Jesus. So I'm getting ready to go get my toes done. I don't have nothing really else going on today, so I will check in with you guys, but I have something to do tomorrow, um, so I'm going to do toes and um, eyebrows when I get there, so I'll check in when I get to the salon. Ooh. Try a little video without your boy scratching in the background. But anyway, I'm home. Um, I'm in the vlog here. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the actual festivities. And yeah, so I'll talk to you guys then. Good morning. Okay, so I owe y'all a story time for real because yesterday was so random, but today is so sweet. Okay, y'all, so happy Sunday. Today is the day that I am going to Summer Breeze. Summer Breeze is a, like an end of summer concert that is thrown by one of the top promoters here in the DMV, Tricky Inc. So they host like wine festivals, theme parties, and stuff like that. So Summer Breeze is held at the National Stadium where our baseball team plays, which is dope. So the um, artist headlining this year is Tamar Braxton. Y'all know she's from the Maryland area. So we have Tamar, of course we have Go Go Bands, um, and then we have DJs that's gonna be there. So it starts at five, from five to 11. It is now, I think like almost one o'clock. So I'm here to do my press-ons really, really quick. I just want to show you guys the ones I just picked up from Amazon. They look like this, this is the packaging. And then I wanted to try this nail bonding system. So this comes with the glue and the primer. 
So yeah, so this is the tip primer and then you have the gel glue. I need to read instructions because like I said, it's my first time using them. So basically the tip primer is to prep the tip and then the gel glue is the basically glue. Drill also from Amazon and then I have my UV lamp that I got from Timu actually. So yeah, so I'm going to get into these nails. So while I do my nails, I'm going to give y'all a little story time. Okay, so for this story time, I'm basically going to tell you guys how I met a guy online and we end up going on our first date the same day. So as y'all can see in the vlog, yesterday was Chuck Brown Day, which is a national go-go artist who passed away. It's been a long time, y'all, since he has gained his wings. But anyway, so they do this thing called Chuck Brown Day every year for his birthday or around his birthday. But this year it was um, held at a park that was closer to my house. So I have not been to Chuck Brown Day in years, okay? When I say years, I want to at least say 10. I had to meet baby in my early 30s or my 20s when I'm going to see where I went to Chuck Brown Day. Um, so long story short, I'm on hinge. So I've been hinging, swiping left, swiping right. Hinge hasn't really been a success for me per se, but you know, it's more, that site is more tamed. It's more, you know, not as ratchet as BLK and POF and Tinder or whatever here. So yeah, so I met the, um, so we matched and we messaged, you know, I told him, this was yesterday, so I say good morning. He good morning back. He was like, what do you have planned for today? I was like, nothing really playing about ear, but y'all see, I went to go get my hair done and then I went to get a pedicure. So he was like, so I was like, um, you know, playing about ear, what about you? He said, going to Chuck Brown Day. I said, well, that was actually on my thing. So, you know, on my mind, so I really didn't have any plans. So I did want to go. So he was like, cool, well, maybe we'll see each other there. I was like, okay, cool. So at this point he was already there so I messaged him and was like, you know, are they searching bags? Because I was trying to bring in my little, you know, my little wine or whatever. He was like, no. And then he gave me his number. So I called him. I was like, yeah. I was like, hello. He was like, hey. So he was like, well, let me know when you're here. But um, this is where you should go, where it won't be any confusion. You can just come walk right in. And they're not really searching or whatever. So I was like, okay, cool. So I said, I'll call you when I get close. So I ended up calling him when I got there so he can guide me to where to go. So long story short, y'all, he ended up sitting with me and Tasha the entire time. Like he went to go get his chair, he went to go get his drink. Um, We talked, you know what I'm saying? The vibe was good. So I was, you know, getting my little questions in. Asked him, you know, how old he was, how many kids he has, where does he live? Because while we were there, I noticed him, you know, speaking to a lot of people. I was like, oh, he must be from this side of town. So, yeah, he is from this side of town. He grew up around here. Um, Y'all know I grew up in Maryland, so I don't know you. Um, So, yeah. So, like I said, the vibes were good. He was chilling. I was chilling. He was drinking. I was drinking. So, I ended up bringing a Subway sandwich from Subway. So when I go to Subway, I get a Italian BMT and I just be putting all the good the goodness on there. So basically, I was like, you want a piece of my sandwich? She was like, sure. So I gave him a piece. He was like, damn, this sandwich is good. I was like, I know. I know. Um, yes, yeah, so like I said, we were talking and basically, you know, just while enjoying being at the um at the event, we were still, you know, getting to know each other and talking or whatever. So, you know, I asked him about dating. Um, is he dating anybody? Does anybody stalking him? He was like, no, I'm not really dating. I'm like, well, what do you mean? I said, why are you not dating? That's the purpose of being on the site is to find someone to date. He said, no, I'm just saying I haven't met anybody that I want to date. I was like, oh, okay, cool. So, long story short, I just got the impression he wants to go with the flow. If he meets somebody, the vibes is cool, then he's open to date or whatever. By the end of the night... 
he was like, you my girlfriend. <laughs> I was like, excuse me, because me and Tasha end up leaving Chuck Brown Day and going to Crew Lounge on H Street. Y'all know everything is in this area. So we wanted to do hookah, get a couple of drinks. So he was like, um, where you at now? I was like, I'm at Crew. He was like, where is that at? I said, on H Street. He said, I'm going to come through. I was like, well, come on. But his ass didn't have his ID on him. Because y'all remember, we've been outside all day. So he didn't have his wallet or nothing. He just thought it was just a place that he could just come in. Sir, no, you need your ID and some money, okay? So, yeah, so long story short, y'all, he, um, he's cool. Like, he's very, very, he's nice. So, we'll see how, you know, see how this goes. So, I'm open to, you know, getting to know him or whatever so yeah he was he was not aware of summer breeze so he's not going to summer breeze um but y'all he bought me flowers this morning because he was saying last night he was like i'm gonna bring you flowers i was like well how are you gonna do that yeah i go to work he said i'm gonna bring them before i go to work i was like no you're not so i'm thinking he was just talking he'd been drinking he a little lit Y'all, this man bought me flowers this morning. And I was not mad at it. I felt so, I don't know, like, y'all, y'all know the vibes. When you get all giddy. It was just, it was just nice. You know what I'm saying? It was just a nice feeling. So, yeah, we'll see how things go in the future. All right, y'all, so let me get these nails on. And then I'll check in with y'all. When I'm done. And y'all, these nails actually fit my little nail beds perfectly. I don't have to do a lot of shit, um, what you call it, filing or whatever. Oh, yeah. These are good. These are good. Oh, so this is the same brand that goes with the glue. Duh. So, an instructions on the back. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so, boom. The instructions were very, very clear. Once you read them and get a hang of doing it, you got it down packed, but this is my first time actually doing the gel X or whatever you want to call it method. Y'all, when they say get the little small one single lamp so you can cure your little five seconds every time you have to do each nail, do that because this full lamp trying to put one nail under there and pressing it down at the same time, that ain't the thing. It took way longer than I expected, but I did get it done though. I actually love the way the nails turned out. I just end up leaving them the natural color because, again, this took it's too much time. I didn't even think it was going to take this long. So, technically, I really didn't have enough time to paint them. But I still love them. Like, they came out super cute. Will I do it again? Yes. But let me go on Amazon right now to find me that little Hi, thing. Pumpkin. Don't go down. Don't go down.
said I wasn't going to do this, but here we go. Come with me to Summer Breeze 2023. Stop the pink taco because I did not want to eat no stale-ass chicken tenders and fries from the stadium. <laughs> Okay, you guys, overall, I enjoyed my time with the people that I was with and the people that I did see. This is the 13th annual Summer Breeze. I don't go often. This is like my fourth time going in the 13 years, and I have not been back to back, okay? Just know it was hot as a bitch, too much going on, and that's on that. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye.